Welcome, dear viewer. This is Lift Up Your Hearts, a program of Hope Channel Kenya, a prayer program. In this program, we fellowship together. We lift up our hearts to God in prayer. We share our prayer requests and we pray together. Tonight with me in the studio is a dear sister. Her name is Emily. Mrs. Emily Chelangat Owar. She is a pastor's wife, a shepherdess, but best of all, a Christian, a sister. We will listen to her testimony and then we will pray together after a brief sharing. But before we go on in the program, let us pray together. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we bless your name. Father, we worship you, we magnify you, O Lord our God. There's no God like you. There's no one else beside you, Holy Father. You're holy and righteous, you're faithful and true. You're exalted above everything, O Lord our God. You created the universe, O Holy Father, each one of us. All the beauty in the universe, O Lord our God. On earth, Heavenly Father, you created us, O Lord. You created everything that there is. Beautiful, Heavenly Father, the grass, the trees, the flowers, the insects, the animals, all in their colors. And Father, you gave them to us and said, have dominion. Yes. What wonderful love. And when we messed up not following your direction, mm -hmm. Lord our God, you had said, in the day that you eat of this fruit, you shall surely die, you said to Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. But Holy Father, we listened to another voice, a different voice that caused man to doubt your voice. We got into big trouble. But Heavenly Father, you did not leave us alone. You sent us Jesus Christ to die for us. Oh, yes. And because of Jesus Christ, tonight, Heavenly Father, we have access to you. We are reconciled to you. Our sins are forgiven, O Lord our God. Mm -hmm. And even though you are high and lofty, the creator of the universe, you've allowed us to call you Father, mm -hmm. our Father who art in heaven. Mm -hmm. You've allowed us to be called by your name freely, O Lord our God. For as many as received you, your word tells us you've given them power to become children of God. Mm -hmm. And so, Heavenly Father, we come to you boldly, knowing that we are accepted in the Beloved. Yes. So tonight, Heavenly Father, together with our viewer, mm -hmm. we rejoice in you, Holy Father. Yes. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you forgive our sins. Mm -hmm. Cleanse us, O Lord, our God, from all unrighteousness. Have mercy on us. Oh, yes. Do not deal with us according to our sins, but according to your great love. Yes. Father, as we share with the, with the viewer, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name that you will cause each one of us to hear your voice. Yes. And when we begin to pray together, Holy Father, mm. we pray in Jesus' name that you will hear us. Oh, yes. That you will hear our viewer who is bringing their troubles, their joys and their sorrows to you, Holy Father. Amen. The viewer who is in hospital, the viewer at home, the viewer, Heavenly Father, who is in some, some place that we do not know, we're all together, Heavenly Father. We thank you for technology. Mm. And we pray in Jesus' name that as we lift up our hearts to you, Lord our God, you will hear us, that you will answer us that the joy of your people may be full. Mm. Be glorified in everything that we do and say. Be glorified, O Lord our God. Refresh our viewer. For some have had a rough day today. Some, Heavenly Father, are mourning. Some have had a, a terrible play, a, a day at the workplace. Someone has lost his job. Oh, yes. Someone, Heavenly Father, has just been told that they have a disease that leads to death. 
But we thank you, Heavenly Father, because you are the Almighty God. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing impossible for you. Sure. And so, Heavenly Father, we together, we just come to you, O Lord, our God. Mm -hmm. As your children, as your people. There's, there is some viewer, Heavenly Father, who is watching mm -hmm. and has not surrendered their life to you. I pray for them, O Holy Father. I pray in Jesus' name that as they fellowship, to, we fellowship together, that they will make up your, their minds, Heavenly Father, to surrender their lives to you, Heavenly Father, you who has all power in your hands, mm -hmm. you who has life in your hands. Mm -hmm. Be glorified, O Lord our God. We bless your name. Amen. We worship you, O Lord. Yes. We magnify you mm -hmm. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Welcome, dear viewer. And thank you for staying with us. Thank you for staying with Hope Channel. And thank you for watching Lift Up Your Hearts. Thank you for preparing to pray together with us. Tonight, I want to very briefly, and uh, I pray that you will pardon me if I don't turn my neck very well. I think I strained my neck in the nights. So if I turn my neck strangely, just understand, bear with me. Tonight, very briefly, I'd like to share from the book of John chapter five. In the book of John chapter five, we find an unnamed person at the pool of Bethesda. And the Bible tells us from verse 1, After this there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is at Jerusalem by the sheep market a pool, which is called in Hebrew, in Hebrew tongue Bethesda, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first, after the troubling of the water, stepped in was made whole of the whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there which had an infirmity 38 years when jesus saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case he said unto him wilt thou be made whole the impotent man answered sir i have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the pool but while I am coming, another steppeth down before me. Jesus said unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed, and walked. Praise the Lord. We will only look at the, this part of the story. We will not go on further. But we will look at this man. This man had been sick 38 years with an infirmity that caused him to have a paralysis of some sort. And there was this pool where <coughs> it was said that an angel would come at a certain season and would trouble the water. And whosoever was first in was healed. 
my brother and my sister, there is a season that the Lord comes into your situation. He comes into a situation. He comes by His Word. He sends someone to speak to you. There is a season of salvation. There is a season of healing. There is a season of encouragement. And the presence of the Lord is manifest. And if you see it, you have it. Because the word of God is true. And the word of God says that nothing shall be impossible with God. The Lord says, I am the God that healeth thee. The Bible tells us he is Jehovah Jireh. He's the God that provides. The, the, the word of God says that he is Jehovah Nissi. Mm -hmm. He is our banner, a man of war. He never lost a battle. He will fight for us. He will fight for you in your situation. He knows where you are. He knows what you are struggling with. And it is the season. This, as you hear the word of God, this is the season of healing, is the season of deliverance, is the season of salvation. It is a season of reconciliation. This man suffered for 38 years. He sat by the pool. Perhaps his friends every now and then brought him there. That perhaps when the water is, is troubled, he would be pushed into the water and he would be healed. But there were many other strong people in that place. There were many other people who had strong relatives. There were many other people who were not infirmed the way that he was. And when the water was troubled, they jumped in. But he had no one. He said he had no one. And Jesus, in fact, the next sentence, sentence where we left off says that it was the Sabbath day. On that day, and so everyone was going to the synagogue and Jesus was on his way to the synagogue. But he saw this guy, even though he knew that the Jews, the way that they believed, they would have trouble with him healing this man. He saw this man and his compassion went to this man and he decided to go to him because the season was ripe. Praise the Lord. It was a season, God's own season for this man. And the, Jesus went and bent over him and spoke to him and said, would you like to be healed? But like many of us, when God speaks, we have an answer. We have an argument. We want to say this. We want to make an excuse and say why we are in the situation that we are in and why we cannot make a move at that very time. What he did not know is that the Creator himself was standing by him. And Jesus, he said, I have no man when the water is troubled to push me into the pool because other people who are better than I, who are stronger than I, they come and they jump in, they're healed. But I'm here. I have no one. The Lord had come for this man. Could it be that tonight you feel like you have no one? You've been abandoned. You are all by yourself. You've been sick for a long time. No one no one comes anymore even to see you. You've been abandoned with your children. Your husband is gone. He's left you for someone else. And you feel like you have no one. Could it be that you have been searching and you cannot find what you are looking for? You're looking for someone. You are alone and you've been counting years and you're still alone. And you are saying, I have no one. Tonight, 
the Lord God is speaking to you and me from his word that is here tonight. He's here tonight for you. And because of the word of God is alive. If you see it, you have it. If you will see the water troubled and jump in. If you will hear him. If you hear his voice. Do not hide in your heart. So Jesus Seeing this man, he did not wait for this man to believe in him. He did not wait for this man to know who he is. Jesus reached out and told him, Take your mat, stand up and walk. And praise the Lord. He got a hold of what Jesus said. And he got up and he was surprised to see that he could walk. He was healed. 30 years in infirmity. Tonight, the Lord wants you to hear his voice. He wants you to be saved if you've not given you, your life to him. Because it's all about salvation. It is sin that brought us trouble into the world. Without our sins for being forgiven, it is in vain. You can be healed to, 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 today and tomorrow you're knocked by a car. You, something else can happen. But Jesus, he came to give us a life that no one can ever take away from you. And now he wants you to have an abundant life now, here and now. He wants you to have an abundant life. And he says, tonight, if you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Say yes to Jesus. Amen. And also, give him what is in your heart. He will forgive your sin and he will heal your disease. He will heal your home. He will heal. He will give you the desires of your heart. He will be your friend. Yes. He is a friend that is ever present. Amen. Praise the Lord. He is a friend who says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Praise the Lord. Amen. May God bless you, dear viewer, as we continue to fellowship together, as we listen to our sister's testimony, and as we pray together. If you've not given your life to Jesus, give him your, your life. If you have given him your life and you've been walking backwards, just come back to him. He's been waiting for you. He is willing to forgive you your sins and give you a new start. Amen. If you're struggling, just tell him. Just call him. Yes. Jesus, God says in Jeremiah 33 and verse 3, Call unto me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that you never knew. Mm. Call him tonight. Praise the Lord. Mm. Call him tonight. Yes. Call him tonight and see if he won't answer you. Amen. Be friends with the creator of the universe. <laughs> mm. As we go for the break, think about it. Stay with us. Do not change your channel. Stay with us and listen to this wonderful testimony. Mm. And let's pray together. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Welcome back, dear viewer. I want to tell you that we love you. But God loves you more than you will ever know. Your life is worth the Son of God. Tonight, we, as I told you earlier, we have with us in the studio, Emily Chelangat, Award, Mrs. Emily Chelangat Award. Uh, Sister Emily. Yes. Tell me, have you met Jesus Christ? Yes. Amen. Amen. How did you meet him? Uh, Nikiwa mudogo, 
Mm. Tuseme kwa kweli nilizaliwa katika nyumba wa Adventista mm. lakini na hiyo haikunitosha. Amen. Siku moja nilitembea kanisa moja ambayo inaitwa na Kuru Central Church na Kuru. Mm -hmm. Nilipotembea pale niliona kwaya wanaimba. Mm -hmm. Na nikaona hiyo kwaya ni kama malaika. Mm -hmm. Nikasema hata mimi mm -hmm. nitaimba hii kwaya hadi mm -hmm. Yesu atakaporejea. Hiyo iliniweka moyo nikashikilia kanisa mpaka wa leo. Amen. Mm -hmm. Ukampa Yesu moyo wangu. Nikampa Yesu moyo wangu. Ukabatizwa. Nikabatizwa. Amen. Amen. You made a decision to follow Christ. Yes. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Na sasa uh, 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 John ya leo. Mm -hmm. uh, hiki kipindi ni kipindi cha maombi vile ambavyo tumesema yes. ni kipindi cha maombi tuna tuna himizana himiz, yes uh, na na ni juu ya maombi yes ili tuweze kupata bidii ya kuendelea kuomba ndio uh, na kwa hiyo uko hapa leo kutupa ushuhuda wako juu ya maombi. Yes. Wewe Mungu amepata kujibu maombi yako? Amenichibu maombi yangu mara nyingi sana. Eh. Nikiwa mgonjwa ninapoita jina lake ananitendea makuu. Amen. Chinzi ulipio ongea ukasema ya kwamba neno la Mungu inasema niite nami nitakuitikia. Amen. Hakika Mungu uitika maombi. Amen. Mm. Tuambie jinsi alivyokuitikia ile ushuhuda yangu mm -hmm. yes ilikuwa siku moja mm. nikapata kuwa mgonjwa mm. nililala kitandani mwisho nilipopata nafuu mm. nilielekea town mm -hmm. town ya Nairobi mm -hmm. nilipokuwa ninarudi ugonjwa ilinisidia nikiwa ndani ya gari mm -hmm. nilistukia nimekaa chini ya gari Chini nilitoka kwa, kwa kiti uh -huh. nikaenda nikaketi chini kwa maumivu e, alafu nikaita Mungu nikamwambia Mungu wangu usiniwache mm. mambo ifanyike mabaya nikiwa ndani ya gari mm. uniongoze tafadhali nifike ndani ya nyumba mm. na wakati hiyo nilikuwa naishi CKC mhm mm CKC ni nini mtazamaji huenda hajui CKC ni nini CKC mm. ni ofisi kubwa mm. ya Central Kenya Conference uh -huh. ambaye ni ya Adventista wa Sabato. Ah, uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Sasa eh uh -huh. ulikuwa naishi CKC. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Tuelezee. Pastor siku hiyo aku kwako nakumbuka vizuri. Mm. Ilipofika usiku wa manane ugonjwa ilinisaidia. Uh, mtazamaji uh, mwanzoni nilisema ya kwamba Emily ni mke wa pastor. Kwa hiyo anaposema pasta ana, ana, ana maanisha mumewe. Ndio. Mm -hmm. mm. yeah. Basi niliamuka nikabisha nyumba ya pasta moja ambayo anaitwa pasta Kamutu. Mm -hmm. Pamoja na mke wake mm. na pasta Njuguna, mm -hmm. mke wake anaitwa Teresia. Mm -hmm. Wakanipeleka hospitali wa MP Sha. Mm -hmm. Nikilia niko mgonjwa sana, mm -hmm. roho inapiga. Mm -hmm. Nilipokuwa njiani nikaita Mungu, nikamwambia Mungu tafadhali unipe second chance. Amen. Tafadhali uniponye. Mm -hmm. Maana sioni nikifika hospitalini. Mm -hmm. Nilitembea kufika hospitalini. Nikaita Yesu tena maana singesimama singekaa chini yani nilikuwa na shida zaidi mm -hmm. nikamwambia Mungu nipe muda tena mm -hmm. nikatoka kidogo kufika nje nikatabika na nilipotabika nikachisikia nimepona kabisa nikarudi nikimach hata ninaambia hawa nimepona kwenda kwa daktari hata nilishindwa nitamwambia daktari niko mgonjwa wapi mm -hmm. nikapimwa tukarudi nyumbani baada ya kupewa tembe chache ndio mhm mm mm. alafu eh baada ya wiki moja ama tuseme mwezi moja mm. ugonjwa ilirudi na nguvu zaidi mm. na wakati huo pasta alikwako mhm nikamwambia pasta nipeleke tena hospitalini ninachisikia nime nimewezwa zaidi mm -hmm. na wakati huo kulikuwa na mtumishi wa Mungu mmoja ambaye alikuwa daktari aliitwa dr gichari Mhm. Mm Akapigiwa simu, 
akaambiwa e, niko mgonjwa mm. daktari akasema haraka sana umlete wapi Nairobi hospital mm -hmm. kwa sababu ya shughuli kidogo town pasta akashuka na mimi nikaendelea kwenda wapi hospitali mm -hmm. saa hiyo elder ama daktari Gichari akakuja Nairobi hospital mm -hmm. tukajiunga pamoja wakanishughulikia sasa mm -hmm. nikalemewa kabisa nikapelekwa kwa nini x-ray Mm. Nilipopelekwa X-ray nikalemewa tena. Mara moja hawa watu wa X-ray wakaona ugonjwa yangu ni hakuua si ya kupona. Wakaita daktari, kumbe daktari alikuwa hapo nje. Akiitwa Nasi, Nasimu. Mm. Akaingia mara moja ndani ya eh, X-ray. Mm -hmm. Akaniambia madam ugonjwa yako si mzuri. Mm. Dakika hii kuna mtu utasign atasign nini uende ufanywe nini operation mm. nikamwambia kunayo saa hiyo nika nini sainiwa nikaingia nikafalishwa nguo na nikaulizwa je umekula nini nikasema sichakula chochote mm. daktari akafurahi sana mm. nikaenda nikaperekwa nilipokuwa njiani kitu ambayo ilinishangaza mtumishi wa Mungu ni moja mm. wakati hiyo nililala nikiangalia juu na nilikuwa naimba wimbo moja kwa roho mm. ambayo inasema ya kwamba usinipite mwokozi mm. unisikie Amen. na nilipokuwa nikiimba mtu ambaye alikuwa ananipeleka nikiona huyo mtu nikitazama ninaona ni mtu anang'aa mtu huyo alikuwa ni mwenye anasukuma hiyo ni mtu wa hospitali e, yeah. alikuwa anasukuma kitanda uh, ni, alikuwa ni mtu wa hospitali ni mtu wa hospitali nikimwangalia naona ni mtu anang'aa sana mm. na nikajiuliza maswali saa hiyo nikasema usinipite mwokozi unisikie mm -hmm. mm -hmm. nikimtasama huyo mtu tena ninaona ameng'aa kabisa Apo na niki umedungwa dawa ya kulala no bado siku kwa nimedungwa mm -hmm. sasa katika harakati hiyo mm. nikimwona tena huyo mtu ana smile saa hiyo ninasikia faraja kubwa ndani ya roho mm -hmm alinipeleka kuingia ndani ya mm, theater mm. nikachisikia furaha fulani saa hiyo nikasema usinipite mwokozi mm. alafu huyo mtu sijui alitoweka wapi alitoweka tu alitoweka tu sijui alit... maana nilijiona nika, nikaona ya kwamba niko peke yangu kwa kitanda huyo mm -hmm. mtu akatoweka mm. na saa hiyo nikaona sijui ni daktari ama nani wanakuja na mbio kama watu wako kwa PE mm -hmm. mchezo kiwanjani mwingine anatokea huko mwingine pale ndipo akaniita jina Emily good night na saa hiyo ukatoweka nikatoweka katika ulimwengu nikaona giza mhm mm mm -hmm. uh, ni kusema sasa ulipewa dawa ya kulala nafikiri sikuona mm -hmm. hata nikipewa hiyo dawa ya kulala sijui mhm mm mm -hmm. alafu ilikuwaaje Eh baada ya hapo nilipotea dunia mpaka the following day kitu kama saa tatu mchana mm -hmm. ndi nilianza kuchisikia mm -hmm. na x-ray nilikuwa nimeambiwa ya kwamba ninaperekwa kwa masaa matatu mm -hmm. au manne mm -hmm. lakini niliingia saa tatu nikarudi kutoka asubuhi yake ikawa ni usiku mzima ikawa ni usiku mzima kwa theater kwa theater mhm mm mhm mm Ilikuwa ni kama huyo mgonjwa alikuwa karibu kwenda. Nilikuwa mgonjwa siwezi elezea maana mm. ilikuwa inakuja inanigonga roho kabisa na stuka alafu ninaisha. Mm. Naanza kunini kupoteshwa hata na nini? Fahamu asubuhi ukaamka. Asubuhi nikaamka mm -hmm. kitu saa tatu. Mm -hmm. Nilipoamka mm. nilikuta watu wengi kitandani. Mm. Awa watu walitoka new life. Mm. Na saa hiyo pasta alikuwa ameenda Kangundo. Mm. Aliniwacha kwa kitanda kwa sababu ya kazi ya Mungu. Mm. Tulikuwa wageni pale Kangundo. Mm -hmm. Nikastukia nini watu kitandani. Kila mm. mtu ananiangalia na smile na mimi nikaanza kusmile. Amen. Eh. Mm. Sasa uliona ni Mungu alikuponya. Niliona ni Mungu. Mm. Maana nilipokuwa nikiingia pale mm. nilimwambia Mungu tafadhali nipe mm. second chance. Amen. Nami nitakutumikia nitakapotoka mm. pale. Na kweli ulikuwa ni ugonjwa ambao ulikuwa unaweza kukuua. Daktari aliniambia. Amen. Ati mimi sikukuwa mtu wa kupona. Amen. Akaniambia Emily 
kulingana na kazi ambayo unafanya mm. Mungu amekuokoa mm. na si mwadivendista mm. huyo daktari ambaye aliniongelesha hivi aliitwa dr Waitara amen mm -hmm. mm. tunashukuru mm. Mungu kwa uponyaji wake kwako amen na kwamba leo umeweza kuja kushuhudia na kuambia mtazamaji ya kwamba Mungu anaponya Akika. A, e, kwa sababu hata kwenda katika theater mtazamaji kuingia na kutoka ni bwana bwana asifiwe hata kitu kidogo wengine wameingia kwa sababu ya goita na hawakutoka mm -hmm. wengine ni kidole tu mm -hmm. lakini yameingia huko na hakutoka mm -hmm. kwa hiyo tunamshukuru bwana kwa ajili ya Emily na maisha yake na jinsi ambavyo bwana alisikia maombi yake na, na nyinyi wote pengine ambao umetoka theater wengine ambao wametoka kwa accident tunachukuru Mungu kwa uzima wenu na kwa sasa tutaendelea tunataka kuchukua break kidogo tupumue kidogo alafu tuendelee mm -hmm.